there are many ways that women can benefit by working with a naturopathic doctor um, while they're going through breast cancer treatment and then after as well. One of the main things that naturopathic physicians are trained to do is to make sure that the things they're eating, the supplements that they're taking, the herbs that they're taking are not going to interfere with their treatment. The worst thing in the world you want to do is make a decision that is as difficult as saying yes to surgery and then take too much vitamin E because you think it's good for wound healing and have too much bleeding. Or for example, take something like milk thistle or St. John's wort right before surgery and have it interfere with the anesthesia. We also, when people get into taking um, chemotherapy, each drug is a very different medication and it works differently within our bodies. There is a way to identify how you will work with those medications by looking at your liver detoxification pathways. A naturopathic doctor will know when somebody should use certain things to help reduce side effects to the medication and when they should not. Certain supplements are not safe to be taken before, during, and after treatment, so we would avoid those. They would either interfere with the liver's ability to use the medication, or they might simply distract the body or add to the burden the liver or the kidneys would, would have from the medication. So some things on a list we would give the same day. Other supplements or herbs we would give maybe for a few days before and after. Uh, if someone's having low energy and they wanted to take a nutritional supplement such as rhodiola or if they wanted to take astragalus for their white blood cells, the Coriolis versicolor mushroom, we might want to avoid those during treatment and do them two days before and two days after um, to not interfere with medication. And then if they're finished with their surgery and or chemo and or radiation, if they have estrogen receptor positive cancer, they would be encouraged to consider tamoxifen or raloxifene if they're premenopausal or the aromatase inhibitors if they're postmenopausal. And there are now research studies that show things that enhance the effect of those, such as um, black cohosh, um, the flax seeds, indole 3 carbonyl those have been found in research studies to be what we call synergistic with tamoxifen. We would also encourage women to look at when they're, when they're done and um, they're going to be on their own, we would then want them to consider treating the underlying cause of the cancer at that time using naturopathic medicine.